Hey guys, Christmas is obviously over, so in today's video I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas this year. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you probably know that I make one of these videos every year, because the first video I ever posted to YouTube was a what I got for Christmas video. Hi, this is Mary, what I got for Christmas 2014. Hi guys, today I'm going to film a what I got for Christmas video. Hi guys, today's video is going to be a what I got for Christmas video. I really want to make one of these videos every single year to like, celebrate my YouTube anniversary, if I can call it that. But since this is my fourth what I got for Christmas video, it means that it's three years since I uploaded my first YouTube video. I clearly remember when I filmed it. I was sitting at the desk in the room in there, now it's my brother's room, but back then it was my room. The lighting was really bad and my whole room was covered in One Direction posters. I still love One Direction, but those posters did not help on the lighting. But I also remember how awkward and nervous and uncomfortable I felt when I was filming it. I was also really bad at speaking English. I'm still not that good at it, but at least I'm better. I'm so happy I started making videos. Not only because it's so fun to do, but also because those videos are just really fun to have. I like to look back at them once in a while to see how I was back then. I say back then like it was a really long time ago, but it just feels that way. I really hope I make videos for many more years because it would be so fun to have those videos to look back on when I'm old and have my own family and all that. Even though I might not post videos every single week, which I really want to do, I want you to know that I love filming and editing videos. If you ever thought about starting a YouTube channel but been too nervous or scared to do it, then please don't be. I've always been really really shy and anxious around other people. I still need to get better at believing in myself, but YouTube has definitely helped me. But if you're also really shy like me, then YouTube might be a great way for you to get your words out there. I didn't even know I had that much to say, but yeah, I think you get the point. By the way, I'm not making this video to break or show off or anything. I'm only making it because it's like my YouTube tradition and also because I know that a lot of people like to watch these kind of videos. But now I should probably get into what this video is about. First I'm going to show you the makeup and beauty things I got. The first thing I got is this beauty blender set. I was so excited when I got this set because I've never actually had any of the original beauty blenders. I've had some pretty good makeup sponges before, but I've heard that most people that try the original ones like them way better, so I'm so excited to try them. But this set is called Pro on the Go and it comes with five things. That's the original beauty blender, which is the one that I'm most excited for. And it also comes with the beauty blender Pro and the beauty blender Micro Mini, the Blatter Watsi Pro and a mini blender cleanser. I'm just so excited to try this set. Next I got two makeup palettes. Both of these were on my wish list and I was so excited when I got them. The first one is from Soeva. It's the Opalence palette. The packaging is so pretty. I love old flowers and I love that it looks like old and it's just so pretty. I haven't tried this one yet but it has some really really beautiful colors. There's some shimmer neutrals over here and over here there's some darker colors. I'm so excited to try the red and the blue one because it looks so pretty. Just small swatch. I don't know if you can tell but they're pretty pigmented and I'm just so excited to try this one. The other palette I was also really really excited when I got probably even more. It was actually the number one thing on my wish list this year. It's the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Ta da! The packaging is so beautiful. I just love this. I really want to try to recreate this look in the front. It's so pretty. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's so beautiful. I love all the colors. I love that it's some really warm toned colors because that's my favorite colors to wear. I'm wearing some of the colors on my eyes right now and then just I love this palette. My favorite color in this palette is this one up here. It's called Out or OUD, I'm not sure. But it is so pretty. I just love this one. It's also really really pigmented. This one is probably my favorite Christmas present this year. The next thing I got is this set from Clinique. It's the three step system and I got it in skin type 3. I never tried any Clinique products before, but so far I really like this set. I only used it three times though, so I can't really say for sure, but I think I'm going to do a review on this set because that's this like 10 day challenge with it, like, where you get clear skin, and I really want to try it to see if it works. But this set comes with a liquid facial soap, a clarifying lotion, and a gel moisturizer. I'm so excited to see if this works. The next thing I got is a nail palette from Essie. This one is in the color Ready to Boa. Boa? No, I've said, but it's just a really, really pretty one. I don't think I have any colors that look like this, so I'm really excited to try it. Next, I got a shower gel. This one is from the brand Cretons. Cretons? I don't know how to say it, but this one smells like mango and papaya. I love the scent of this one. Next, I got another thing from the same brand. This one is called Raspberry and Pomegranate Revive Hand Cream. This one smells so good. It kind of smells like raspberry yogurt, which is my favorite kind of yogurt, so. I really like this one. Next I got something from the brand Vanderbilt. This one is the perfume, but the other things I actually packed down in my suitcase right now and I don't really want to pack it out and find it, but they all smell really good. The next thing I got is this one. It's from W7. It's one of the Metal Kiss lip glasses. This one is in the color Ace Face. 
it's just a really pretty golden like bronzy color it's really pretty on top of lipsticks especially red and darker ones next i got another thing from w7 it's the beam me up illuminator it's really really shiny and it blends really easily i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's just so pretty i'm wearing it right now and i really really like it so yeah i actually kind of chose this one myself but i just love it next i got an eyeshadow it's from loyal paris it's in the color nude 206 it's just really really pretty color this would actually be a really good highlighting color next i got a new bottle of my favorite makeup remover it's the nivea waterproof eye makeup remover it's a really good one and i was actually running low on it so i'm happy i got it next i got a perfume it's this heart shaped one it's really really pretty it's called gold and it smells like gold now onto the non-beauty related things that i got the first thing is this pair of training leggings it's from nike and it's the nike pro I don't know if they have a name. These ones were on my wish list and I really really wanted them so I'm so happy about them. I haven't worn them yet but I tried them on to see if they fit me and they're just so comfortable. I can't wait to wear them. The next thing I got is this necklace. It's a four clover. I love the color of this one. I don't have any necklaces in this kind of color. Most of mine are just like gold or silver. It's just really really pretty. I love it so much. Next I got a few things for when I'm moving out which is in only about a month. The first thing is this set which comes with six forks. Six knives, six big spoons, and six small spoons. My mom gave me these ones, but I actually chose them myself because I thought it was so pretty. They're from the brand called Amefa. Amefa? I don't know. But this set is called Vintage Family Set. I just love the pattern. It's just really, really pretty. It kind of looks like gold, which I really, really like. Next, I got a tape dispenser. It's just really good to have. Then I got this set, which comes with two knives. That's a butter knife and a wet slicing knife. It's just really really pretty, it's wooden and yeah. I really needed one of these for when I'm moving out because I didn't have one. The last thing is actually not one of my Christmas presents. But in Denmark on Christmas Eve we always eat rice pudding. Then we put one whole almond in it and the person gets it, gets the present. This year I got it and this was my present. I love after it. My favorite thing ever. And this package is huge. That's like, that's 800 grams in it. I think I'm going to save this for when I move because then when people come over to visit me they can have some But that's all the things I got I'm so thankful for all the things I got because Christmas is not about the gifts It's about being around family and having fun and all that So I'm really thankful about all the things I hope you had an amazing Christmas this year and I hope you have a really fun New Year's Eve Please be safe But thanks for watching, bye!